Okay, let's go ahead and find the sides, the length of the sides here of this particular triangle, and we're not going to use a calculator, all right? So uh, should you know this? Is it important to know this? Absolutely, okay? This is very, very important. And some of you are like saying, oh, you think it's important because, you know, you love math and et cetera, et cetera. But listen, let me tell you something. If you are a student, okay, uh, high school, college, or maybe middle school, whatever the case is, uh, you're going to need to pass a lot of exams to get to where you want to go in life. And this particular triangle is what we call a special, okay? It is a, see, look at that, I can't even spell. See, don't take spelling lessons from me. Just learn math from me if you like. Uh, this is a special uh, triangle, all right? It's a special right triangle because this little uh, guy right down in that corner indicates that this is a right triangle. So this is a special right triangle. Okay, what does that mean? Well, I'm going to explain to this. I'm going to explain to you what this means here in a second. But you need to understand special right triangles that come up everywhere uh, on a lot of tests too. Okay, standardized tests like the SAT or ACT. I guess is that a standardized test? Well, no. Well, that's, listen, whatever test you might be taking, uh, you know, you're going to possibly see these, right? You just simply need to know this. And if you, um, you know, aren't going to be taking any tests, it's just as good stuff to know anyways, right? So I'm going to explain to you how we can find the lengths of this particular triangle, all right? I got five here. I know five is this length, the longest side of this triangle. I know this is 30 degrees, okay? I know that's a 90 degrees. So this is a special right triangle. So I'm trying to figure out what this length is and this length is. And you can do this without a calculator, okay? And it's actually quite easy. And I'm gonna cover this in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And uh, over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is the ultimate, one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. It's a pretty bold statement, but, uh, you know, check it out and see for yourself, all right? You can uh, go to my math help program by following the link in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from um, pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two. I'm going to be launching pre-calculus here uh, very shortly, but I also do a lot in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for uh, the GED, SAT, uh, um, ACT, uh, GRE, GMAT, ACUPLACER, CLEP exam, uh, ALEX exam, a teacher certification exam, ASVAB uh, exam. That's, uh, if you don't know, that's the exam you take to go into military. Of course, I've taken many of these exams personally. A teacher certification exam, for example, I've taken teacher certification exams. I've taken the ASVAB because I was in the military. I've also taken the SAT. I've taken the ACT. So believe me when I tell you, I have a pretty good experience taking a wide variety of tests. And this little guy right here, problems like this do show up on those tests, okay, uh, quite frequently. Uh, so, you know, this is a good little video for you to watch. But anyways, if you are preparing for a particular exam, uh, I could definitely help you out. Just go to my website, check out my full course catalog. I should have what you're studying for. If I do not, drop me a line in and I will help you out the best I can. Um, I also do a lot with independent learners like homeschoolers. I've been working with homeschoolers for 15 plus years. I have a great homeschool learning uh, system. So uh, definitely check that out if you homeschool. And then obviously help those of you that are just having a tough time in your current math course. Now, if you are serious uh, about wanting to improve and learn math, okay, then you need to do this. Now, if you aren't serious, then just forget this part. But if you truly do want to um, improve and learn mathematics, then you got to be serious about your note taking. This is a lot of work, right? Every day you got to go in and your job as a math student is to do two things. One, pay attention to the teacher and take great math notes, all right? Over decades of teaching mathematics, those students uh, that have done that, okay, they, they just always do well, right? So that's your first job as a student. Your second job is to raise your hand. Here's a little student right here, like do this thing, raise your hand, that's a pretty long arm, and be like, uh, excuse me, Mr. Teacher, I don't understand. I have questions, I have questions, I have questions, I have questions. Ask questions and, you know, have your teacher answer those questions. Now your teacher, is going to be upset at you if you're asking questions and they already kind of told you the information because you're not paying attention here. You're over here talking to your buddy. You're like, yada, yada, yada. Oh yeah, what'd you say? Da, 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 da. No, that's not what we're talking about. But if you don't understand something in class, ask questions. So your job is to take notes, ask questions, and you'll end up with grades like this in mathematics. All right, so 
definitely don't ignore note taking. Don't look at your cell phone. Don't blow it off because uh, blame me, you'll end up uh, not doing well. All right. Uh, so just trust me on that one. But uh, as you are improving in your note taking, okay, uh, and you need some study material uh, to cover all the things that you missed, I offer uh, detailed comprehensive math notes to include pre algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. You can find the links to those notes in the description of this video. All right, so uh, those of you out there that think you know what to do here, I would say pause the video and tell me what the length of this side is and the length of that side is, okay? Of course, no calculator and don't go, you know, looking in your great notes, just see what you kind of remember, okay? This is something that I would definitely encourage you to uh, commit to your long-term memory. And uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So if you don't want to see the answer yet, pause the video, but I'm gonna get into it right now. All right, so what are we dealing with here? Well. Again, we're dealing with a special right triangle. So, you know, we have triangles, right, all over the place. Triangles are awesome. It's all kinds of different triangles. Now, a special type of triangle is a, a, a right triangle, okay? So right triangle, oh, that's a terrible triangle. I could do better than that. Uh, like right here, all right? So that's 90 degrees, okay? That is a right triangle. We love right triangles and uh, geometry because, uh, first off, um, we can apply the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. And we uh, know some basic trigonometry, uh, tr trigonometric ratios. We could do some basic trigonometry with this stuff. So awesome. Right triangles just by themselves are like super cool. Okay. But uh, we have special right triangles, right? So this is special. This is like extra special. So what are the uh, special right triangles you need to know? And you definitely need to know these, all right? So the first is the 30, 60, 90. That's the one we're going to be looking at. And there's another one of 45, uh, 45, 90. And these are all degrees, okay? Degree, degree, degrees here, okay? So you want to master these, and you want to know the relationships between this, okay? So if you recall in the problem, I only have 30 degrees here. But if that's 30, that's 90. Well, how many degrees are in a triangle? There's 180 degrees, all right? Hopefully you knew that. So if you take away 30 and 90 from 180 degrees, you'll see that this angle right there is 60 degrees, okay? So that's what we're, we're talking about here, a 30, 60, 90 special right triangle. All right, so here is uh, the relationship between the, the sides. Now, if you notice, if I draw this triangle, okay, see this 60 degrees this is a bigger angle than this little 30 degrees okay so opposite of the 30 degrees this is the shortest side so we have a short side a medium side and a long side all right so if the short side is x long okay the longest side which is the hypotenuse is always the double the smallest side okay so the smallest side right here okay this length, the hypotenuse of a 30, 60, 90 is always double that, always double. Now, the medium uh, length, okay, this one in the middle is going to be this side, the shortest side, times the square root of three, okay? So if you remember this, you will be well on your way to mastering these, mastering these 30, 60, 90 uh, special right triangles. Now, um, I have done um, a lot of videos on this in my geometry playlist on my channel. So if you want to follow through do, and do some more practice between this and a 45, 45, 90, uh, that's some uh, suggestions. Of course, if you really want to master this, I want to check out my uh, geometry course. Okay, but let's get into now solving this problem. Now that we know this, this stuff should be uh, pretty easy. All right. So I'm like, well, all right, I just got a five here. Well, how can I get these sides? Well, we're going to have to kind of do a little reverse engineering. So this is 30. This must be 60. So if I have a 5 right there, and this is my smallest side, okay, this is my smallest. How, how can I, how did this happen? Well, you can kind of, if the, if the hypotenuse is double the smallest side, well, the smallest side must be half of this side, okay? So this is simply 5 over 2. Okay, because if I take this and I multiply 5 over 2 times 2, of course, I know everyone out there knows how to do fractions. You end up with what? 5. Okay, it's as simple as that. 
All right, so if you have the hypotenuse, the longest side, just divide it by two, and now you have the smallest side. So how do I get this side now? Remember, you take the smallest side, which is five over two, and you multiply it by the square root of three, and we are done. That's it, okay? You see how powerful knowledge is? You know, when you know stuff, you can do things one, two, three. Now, if you got this problem all right, all on your own, without the aid of a calculator, then I must, in turn, give you an awesome uh, little mohawk, okay, an A+, plus, and I'll give you two stars. Uh, this wasn't the hardest problem, but it wasn't uh, maybe the easiest thing to remember as well. But that's very good, okay? I mean, if you remember this, that shows me that you've been taking notes, all right, maybe you've been watching my YouTube channel. I don't know. Maybe maybe you've been one of my subscribers. I'm actually doing pretty good at the time of this video. I think I'm up to like 271,000 subscribers. That's a, It's such an awesome thing to have that many people uh, be a part of like what I figure is like my gigantic classroom, right? So if you are subscribing, but you right now, if you're watching this video, thank you very much, right? That means a lot to me, right? And my mission uh, really... Um, you know, I'm, there's a lot of things I can't do, but the one thing that I've done pretty well over many decades because I've just love it, I've educated myself and just practice, practice, practice and trying to have gotten better, better, better is to try to teach math in a way that people like and understand, not like a textbook, right? Here's a textbook, you know, it's boring, right? If I'm going to be like teaching you math or we're like, hey, just read the textbook. Well, you know, no one likes to read books. I try to give math some color. I try to give some math some understanding. Uh, so all of you out there can look like this. No one should be doing poorly in math, okay? What's the key? Again, uh, the key of anything is to remain focused, all right? And that's why note-taking is evidence of you being focused and being serious, right? Is it uh, easy? Are there shortcuts? No, there's no shortcuts, all right? Uh, there's little hacks and trip and tricks and tips and stuff like that. Um, one of my most popular uh, videos is like on fractions, um, how to add fractions, a little fraction hack, and that's like a little shortcut. So there are little things like that that in mathematics that you definitely there are little shortcuts, okay? But in general, okay, to learn and master, you know, algebra, geometry, calculus, pre-calculus, all that stuff, you're going to have to work hard, okay? And I'm just sorry, I'm, I'm being a truth teller here. But uh, at the end of it, you know, you'll get the reward of, you know, opening up so many more, uh, so many more opportunities, okay, when you have a great math education. All right. So if this video was helpful in some way, or if you just liked it, okay, please consider smashing that like button. It helps me out. And uh, again, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. Um, I really value everybody that uh, subscribes to my channel. But, uh, you know, um, on my channel, you'll find uh, multiple playlists, basic to advanced mathematics. I'm going to be adding so much more content. I'm going to be doing a lot more advanced math as well, but more basic math as well. So I do everything. I try to help out everybody. Again, my mission is to try to teach things in a clear and understandable way, all right? Mathematics. Now, if you like my teaching style, I got like a thousand plus videos right now that you can take advantage of, but my best math help will be within my math help uh, program. Very, very comprehensive, and uh, it's really been my passion over uh, 20 plus years. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.